They began to take the fight to ISIL more effectively. They began to lose caliphate. Uh, you, you pull them up by the roots, so to speak. Then, then, then turn your attention to Assad, that the Russians will understand Assad cannot stay. The Syrian people will not accept him. At the end of the day, the Alawites under his uh, uh, enclave, we've got to reconcile with them. They're worried about being slaughtered, so you have to have a diplomatic path as well as a military path. But I think the Russians are not going to fight for Assad. Senator, Senator, there is a growing consensus that Syria is already a failed state, and a growing consensus yeah. that, as you alluded to, Jordan is under siege from refugees to such an yeah. extent that Jordan is in danger yeah. of collapsing. So as yeah. unappealing, yeah. as unattractive as it might seem to many people, is it not a possibility that the best immediate strategy for Syria is to realize that Assad is going to be there for a long time, or not for a long time, but is going to be there for a while, and to work out some structure with the Russians on the ground in Syria to have Assad lead whatever is left of Syria for several months and then have him depart, but to recognize that he's not going to be going. Uh, well, I think uh, I think the goal uh, is to make sure that he does go because if he stays, then he's a recruiting tool for uh, ISIL and Al Nusra and the other Sunni extremists because he's a puppet of Iran. Under no circumstance can he be allowed to be a legitimate leader of Syria because the war never ends. But finding a transition for Assad, I believe, only happens when he sees a military change, when the tide of battle changes. And and the Russians and everybody else realizes he's not going to stay in power because the Syrian people can come after him after we deal with, a, uh, with ISIL. There are no good options left, guys. I don't want to sit here and paint a rosy picture. There are no good options yeah. left. I'm trying to pick the best right. of the bad options. All right. Thank Senator you. Lindsey Graham, thank you as always. <laughs> it's great talking to you. Thank you, Senator. Thanks. All right. Still yeah. ahead. Yeah, I, I was just going to say really quickly to Mike. Mike, that is that that seems to be what's happening right now in Syria. That that if if not Assad surviving, Assad's regime survives. Yeah. The Russians step in to make sure the regime survives. The United States steps up pressure uh, to 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 help drive ISIS out. And once they, when they don't have Syria as their, their home base, things become much more difficult for them quickly. Yeah, I mean, right now, I mean, we've got seemingly two priorities. Get Assad out and fight ISIL. Well, let's have one priority. Let's take care of ISIL. And the way to take care of yeah. ISIL is we're going to live with Assad for a while. Right. Boom.